ओके योर गुड नेम इज रश्मिका रश्मिता ओके सो रश्मिता यू हैव गिवन द टेस्ट ऑन ओशनोग्राफी राइट हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन वेर देयर थर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन एंड आउट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन यू हैव आंसर्ड थर्टी थ्री क्वेश्चन थर्टी थ्री क्वेश्चन यू हैव आंसर्ड and uh, two questions you could not answer right you no. skip two questions actually i thought there is negative marking so i have done okay you thought it is a negative there is a negative marking that's why i skip those questions okay and uh, out of 33 questions so 21 questions are correct and uh, 12 questions are wrong right and out of 21 questions in 21 questions you are having 100% accuracy right so you are you, you know you was knowing the answer for 20 questions but for one question he was having the doubt between 50 50 doubt or 50 50% doubt and that also became the correct right and uh, 12 you made 12 questions wrong out of 12 questions about six questions he was not having the uh, information sufficient information right and uh, for one question so you mark one question by guess and that became wrong and five questions became wrong so where you are having the 50 50 doubt right okay so uh, you made 12 questions wrong so when you saw your omr sheet you came to know that for 12 questions you made the mistake so what factors led you to make the mistake or what problems you faced uh, during the test uh, terminology okay terminology right you are not able to recall the terms yes i actually i haven't listened the before classes from starting so i missed some terms okay okay you missed some of the classes oh excellent you join uh, Uh, lately right it okay good but uh, very good out of 35 questions you attempted 33 and out of 33 21 questions are correct means almost the accuracy is more than 50 percentage right and uh, you miss some of the classes and that's why uh, you make many questions wrong okay so what else what other problems are you are you faced during the test other than uh, some terminology concepts should be revised okay the lack of revision lack of revision yes so please remember so the main difference between the mcq or the subjective test and the objective test is for objective test you need more revision more revision because there will be four statements and sometime all the four statement looks correct mm. right all the four statement looks correct and to identify the correct answer from the given four uh once at uh, this one options so you need the revision that proper revision so if you do one revision so you'll be you'll be able to like you know eliminate one option if you do two revisions at least you'll be able to eliminate two options if you revision if you do the revision of three to four times then definitely you can easily eliminate three wrong options and you can mark the correct option right okay that is one problem that the students will face during the prelims exam right and one more important point just when i saw your uh, like no your answer sheet or your omr sheet you are making some mistakes in the factual questions factual questions you are having the clarity about the conceptual questions the only problem you are facing is in the factual questions and for that one good advice or the strong advice from my side is so whenever you get the factual things so while reading while reading so you might be reading in the you, are, you might be making the notes right so you are following the notes right oceanography or any topics you are following the notes so while reading the notes so if if you will read any facts just write the facts just in that margin you just make the margin in the your notes only at the left side or the right side right you just make the margin in that margin just write on some facts for example so if suppose uh, like salinity salinity of the ocean salinity of the ocean the average salinity of the ocean is around 35 percentage right if you read generally in the statements or in the paragraphs so you will not remember and if you write that 35 percentage on the left side in the margin then you can easily remember so when you when you, when you revise so you can directly focus on that facts and you can easily remember so whenever you write some facts it can be salinity or temperature or depth of the continental shelf or depth of the abyssal plain when you write something just write on the left side or write in the margins right so that you can easily remember that is one point and second one so as you are saying ki you are facing the problems in terminology for example what is thermocline what is halocline what is salinity what is density what is temperature of the ocean water what is coral reef what is ocean acidification right if you if you are facing the problem with such key terms then what you have to do you have to list down all the key terms right and then just write down one single single line what is salinity what is thermocline what is halocline what is coral reef just write down one one line just for your easy understanding right so because prelims is all about selecting one right answer from given four 
options right so you are facing one problem of terminology and second problem you are facing is lack of revision anything else what problems you are facing in giving the test a little bit of confusion between the statements which they are given what kind means the confusion will arise only when there is a lack of revision and if you do the multiple revision so that can be rectified that can be resolved that can be resolved so that my strong advise you right so when you take the next test so before taking the next test just do the four revisions and take the test i can guarantee you you will make 80 to 90 percent accuracy or you make it 90 percent correct there is no doubt just do this experiment once so because please remember the only key to get success in pt is multiple revision multiple is the only key to get success the students will fail in the prelims exam because of lack of revision right so because we are humans right we are not robots we are humans so because when we read we can't remember everything right so that's why if you have to keep on revision uh, you have to keep on doing the revision and when it's the factual thing just keep on writing you make one separate notebook and when you read something for example in the newspaper so from two days the landslide is in the news just write on landslide what is landslide right so because you don't need to write everything there what are the causes for landslide what are the effects of landslide because that is very conceptual thing that is important for your means but what for pt what is landslide right landslide here landslide meaning you know very well the sudden movement of larger mass of rock and soil we call landslide so why we have to remember because there was a landslide in the Kerala, right? So from last few days, we are seeing that the landslides are increasing, increasing in South India, in general, and Western Ghats in particular. Then you should know. So why have more landslides only in the Western Ghats, right? So like that, you have to approach. So don't think that once after completion of the classes, the geography is no. So when you read the newspaper, immediately you have to interlink with your subjects. Suppose if you are reading about cyclone, any cyclone, recently there was a remal cyclone. So while reading about the cyclone, immediately you have to interlink with our climatology. What is cyclone? Who, like, who named cyclone? Who gave this name remal? Right? Who which country recommended this name remal? And what is the mechanism behind, uh, behind naming the cyclone? Like that, you have to do the quick revision. And that will definitely will help you, help you to move with a positive mindset in the UPSC preparation right so once after completion of geography so when the next subject stops i mean sorry when the next subject starts immediately you should not uh, keep the geography uh, like no and you should not uh, forget the geography right while reading the newspaper if you get any terms from the geography then and there only you have to open the notes and just you have to recall and revise and whatever points you get in the newspaper immediately you have to write for example so now you are reading about landslides you have to open the landslide topic that already you discussed in the class and just you have to mention there the Kerala landslide issue if you mention there then in future you'll get a very good example to write in the mains also so like that if you do if, if you do the multiple time revision and one more important point so if you're reading something about any particular topic you have to draw on the map also in the diagram also you have to show for example no kerala landslide issue just draw the small map like india map for example like this a small india map and just write here only the landslide and in which place it occurred the Wayanad region so if you locate like this, no, next time they can ask the question in Indian geography. So locate why not on India map. So why they will ask why not only because it is now it is like uh, it is in the problem because of the landslide issue. So like that you have to prepare. So first point you are facing the terminology. What I said you have to list on all the terms and you have to write single single words. What is this meaning? They don't need to explain each and everything. That is point number one. And to avoid the confusion between 50 50, you have to do the revision. Third point, so when you read something, you have to draw the small, small diagrams so that you can easily remember. Yet what else? What, what, what all other problems are you facing? Yeah. I think so. This time, uh, out of 35, you made 21 questions correct. So, next time, so your accuracy should be more than 75 percentage, right? So, because we are here to give the genuine and the quality education right and you should utilize this opportunity golden opportunity and you have to reach your target your goal which is your goal I to become ias right thank you very all the best Sir, right uh, can you please check my answer writing sure you wrote answers on oceanography or which topic oh you wrote any answers yes. good so discuss the mechanism of indian monsoon so you wrote the answer from climatology climatology right okay so uh, first remember whenever you write the answer you have to keep three factors or three points in your mind okay. so your answer should consist three dimensions what are the three dimensions introduction, introduction body, main body conclusion. and conclusion and please remember you should not put any headings like introduction 
main body of the answer and you should not put any heading but you have to write the introduction but you should not put any heading introduction you got this point and introduction will be always related to the first you have to identify the key term key term of the question for example in this question discuss first you have to you have to define what is monsoon monsoon whether it is a trade wind or it is a seasonal wind or it is a permanent wind or what what kind of wind is what it is and what is the exact meaning of monsoon and this term monsoon is derived from which term like that you have to write around three to four lines about that term that is the introduction right and then the main body of the answer they are asking very simple question here discuss the mechanism of indian monsoon right and to explain mechanism of indian monsoon there are three theories which are the three theories one is classical theory of sir edmund halley second one is itcz theory of sir uh, flown and third one is jet stream theory and among these three theories which theory is more scientific theory IT. itcz theory right so in this question they are not asking particularly about itcz theory right but you have to focus on more on itc theory because it is widely accepted theory right so please remember so more what not to write right please remember so you have to write so which is widely accepted except by the world right by the world please remember so there are a lot of theories but for example while discussing cdt and plate tectonics theory we have discussed that among these two theories which theory is widely accepted among plate tectonics theory and CDT, the plate theory is widely accepted theory because CDT having many drawbacks, right? So like that, when they ask the theories, theories, first you have to highlight the theory which is widely accepted and which is more scientific in nature and which provides more evidences, right? That is the ultimate requirement, right? So in this case, you are having three theories, but you have to highlight about the ITCZ theory, right? ITCZ theory, right? Uh, so here in this question, so we have written about the meaning meaning of the mechanism of indian monsoon is significantly influenced by the intertropical convergence which is also known as air mass theory this theory was proposed by sir von in it's very good right uh, but uh, because had this question is about air mass theory this would have been the best introduction but the question not about it theory the question is about monsoon in this case you have to give the general definition of the term the monsoon definition to give here so had this question is about discuss the mechanism of indian monsoon explained by the air mass theory and for that question this is the best introduction you got the difference so when you write something so just identify the key terms and just explain that key term that would be the your introduction and then explain the mechanism that is the main answer then conclusion can you always your opinion your opinion so that will be the conclusion right Yes, good. So, the remaining uh, answers again I will check in the next session. Right? Okay, thank you.